can gargling your mouth and rinsing your nose with a simple salt water solution decrease your risk of hospitalization during, let's say, a viral infection that has been predominantly around since 2020? Well, according to publication in Helio Online, it can. It was actually very fascinating. So they had a group of about 58 individuals that were gargling and rinsing with a salt water solution. So they, they gargled and they sprayed it and rinsed their nose with it, right? And they noticed that there was a significant decrease in hospitalization in that group and they compared this group to another cohort of about 9,000 individuals that did not do this intervention. So the hospitalization rate in the small group that did the intervention, that means the gargling and the rinsing with um, the salt water solution, was about 20%. Whereas the hospitalization rate in the other group that did not do these interventions was about 59%. So there's a huge difference, obviously. And this does make a lot of sense. Um, when you think about how do viruses, especially respiratory viruses, spread, you know, they usually enter the host through the nose and the mouth, right? Now, just like we wash our hands when we come in contact with someone that's been infected, you know, it makes a lot of sense to wash these areas because the virus is actually not transmitted through your hands. It's just like you get it on your hand by shaking someone's hand or touching someone that they touched, and then you touch your mucous membranes, which means your nose and your, and your, and your mouth. And that's how it spreads. So washing the hands, of course, is very important because it prevents you from picking up the virus and putting it there. But again, that doesn't really mean, you know, when we're, when we're exposed, obviously viruses are in the air, you know, they're easily trans transmitted and they settle in your nose and your, and your mouth. And unless we get rid of them at some point, they go through the mucous membrane and enter your body and then you get the infection usually. So the less virus enters the body, the better your immune system is able to take care of it and the lower the risk of getting an actual infection, right? So when we use something like salt water, so very concentrated uh, salt water, you know, this is something that viruses or bacteria don't like very much and it destroys them. It, you know, kind of uh, uh, destroys them and makes them inactive. And that's one way to do it. I would actually go a step further. further. So I would say in general, uh, when traveling, I do this, or if I've been exposed to someone, let's say my clinic, someone had a cold or they said, well, this might just be allergies, but I'm a bit suspicious that it might've been a cold or something like that, or a viral infection. It could be influenza or any of the other viruses that are still floating around at the moment. I would then usually uh, gargle with um, a mouthwash that has at least 20% of alcohol, like this one here. So when you look at the inactive ingredient back here, you can probably see that this says 20 or 21% of alcohol in there. And so it doesn't really matter what type of mouthwash it is, but 20 to 21% of a um, alcohol concentration in there is also sufficient to kill viruses or bacteria are very well. And that's, you can reach when you gargle with this, you should gargle for at least 30 to 40 seconds. Um, you can reach fairly back in, uh, into, your, in, into the throat area. And that makes a lot of sense. So you're decreasing the viruses that have settled there, right? And then I have a nasal spray. I usually take a normal saline nasal spray, right? A salt water nasal spray that you can buy over the counter. By the way, none of this is of course medical advice. Always ask your primary care doctor before doing anything. And it's funny because I always say this and people say, well, I can't talk to my primary care doctor about this, and you, but you should be able to. Now, I'm a primary care physician. I actually appreciate when my patients come up to me and say, hey, I am doing this intervention. What do you think of it? I think that's great. Having any modality that puts you in charge, you know, and does not require prescription medication, I think is fantastic. Some might work, some might not work, some might be harmful, but if you discuss it, then, you know, we can figure out what it is. And sometimes I don't know either, and I have to do my reading, which is great for me. I like to study up on these things. But so I take a normal spray bottle like this, See this sprays out a fine mist like this, right? And again, uh, I put about um, three fourths of the normal saline water in there and one fourth of hydrogen peroxide. So just the three percent hydrogen peroxide that you would use for for wound cleaning. Again, not medical advice, but this way you can really sterilize and disinfect the nasal passages, right? And if let's say you've been traveling, you've been on an airplane, people have been coughing, and I had this experience recently. So I'm sitting in this row and right behind me, people are coughing their lungs out. And of course, these viruses are in the air. And people talk about HEPA filters on planes, that's great. When you're sitting right behind someone who's coughing like that, there's a good amount of virus that you're exposed to. But you know, right after we landed, you know, I didn't panic, you know, I gargled and I sprayed my nose and you know, uh, didn't get sick. Now it doesn't mean this always works, of course. I can't give you a study on the particular measures I'm taking here. But it makes sort of sense. It's just like washing your hands. You're just really decreasing the amount of viruses that come in contact with you, right? And um, I think if we can do simple modalities like this and we do it regularly, this can really 
One, it decreases your risk of getting sick or if you are sick and there were some other studies done using those modalities actually or they used some other um, sterilizing agent that was safe enough to spray in your nasal passages showed a shortening of the duration of the disease by several days. So there are studies that have looked into this. Um, again, um, for purposes of um, YouTube channel and the other channels, of course, you know, you have all these uh, uh, fact checkers in there. Nobody's saying that this is the only modality you should use, but I think using this in conjunction with whatever else is recommended, I think is great. Because again, here we can take charge. We can say, listen, I want the least amount of virus enter my body. And if I know I've been exposed, or if I think I've been in a situation where I've been exposed, or I have a sick loved one at home. And that's another example we had recently. So my wife um, had this uh, respiratory virus that has been prevalent since 2020. And again, uh, we gargled and sprayed. We didn't use masks or anything at home. We were all interacting with each other. And fortunately, uh, nobody else got sick. And again, doesn't mean that this always happens. I, I'm not saying you shouldn't do anything else, of course. But uh, this is something I think that definitely can help. And it's an easy thing to do. Um, and it's not just for this particular virus, but really any virus or, or bacterial infection, you can certainly decrease the um, amount of the pathogen that enters your body this way. So this sort of makes sense. Again, I like all these modalities that are applicable, but people can do this on their own without taking a lot of risk. Always again, ask your doctor or again, if are children safe to gargle with this? Ask your pediatrician. Of course, there's alcohol in there. It doesn't really enter much into your body. You spit it out. Uh, children, you know, I don't know how much they would actually ingest. But again, ask your physician before you do anything. I think this is very safe. I continue to do this regularly and has been working very well so far, in my opinion. I'm around sick people quite a bit, as you might imagine, in my line of work. Um, and, you know, I haven't had really more issues with any infection now than I had uh, several years ago. So I think this is an easy thing to do and maybe something worth looking into.